From Anthony Johnson stepping away after a couple of defeats, to Khabib Nurmagomedov hanging his gloves despite 29 consecutive wins, here are fighters that retired too soon. Let's start with Anthony Rumble Johnson, because this guy was an absolute beast, whether he was tearing it up in the welterweight or light heavyweight division. And let me tell you, when it came to throwing punches, this man was on another level. Out of his 13 victories inside the octagon, he finished a mind-blowing 11 of them with his lethal strikes. I mean, he destroyed big names like Alexander Gustafsson, Antonio Rogerio Nogueira, Glauver Teixeira, Phil Davis, and Ryan Bader. Talk about a knockout artist. Now, Rumble had his sights set on the ultimate prize, the UFC 205 lightweight title. He had not one, but two chances to claim that belt. Unfortunately, fate had other plans for him in the form of a fierce opponent named Daniel Cormier. During their two fights, Anthony came up short, losing by submission. It looks like he took these defeats to heart, so much so that after their second fight in April 2017, Rumble made a shocking decision that left the MMA community speechless. He announced his retirement then and there at the age of just 32. Obviously, people couldn't believe it, like this guy had won 12 out of his last 14 fights, and he still had so much potential. But Anthony revealed that his heart wasn't in it anymore. In fact, he had concerns about head trauma in the future, even though he never actually got knocked out. Plus, he had an exciting job offer outside of fighting that he wanted to pursue. Moving on, let's shift focus to another powerhouse who retired early and left us confused. I'm talking about none other than the fierce Ronda Rousey. Her impact on the MMA world can't be denied. She rose to fame at the double, but unfortunately burned out just as quickly. Now, I've got to be honest with you all. Even if she had stayed in the promotion, reclaiming the UFC bantamweight gold was a long shot for Rousey. Clearly, the competition was tough, and her time at the top had come to an end. But here's where things get interesting. Rousey could have had a graceful exit from the sport, a proper send-off befitting her status. Let's be real. Someone as exceptional as she deserves that much, right? But it seems she had other plans in mind. Honestly, she was a trailblazer in the world of female MMA. She defended her bantamweight title an impressive six times, and let's not forget she was the first ever female fighter to sign with the UFC. But everything took an unexpected turn in her seventh title defense against Holly Holm. Turns out, Ronda got knocked out in the second round, losing her belt. And it didn't stop there. She faced Amanda Nunes next, and guess what? The outcome was unfortunately the same, a first-round knockout. Well, these losses exposed her weaknesses in the striking department, leaving many to question her ability to adapt to the evolving competition. Of course, it was a tough pill to swallow for her fans and the MMA community as a whole. Shortly after, she decided to step away from the octagon and pursue a new career in the WWE. At least Ronda found success outside of MMA because I can't say the same for George St. Pierre. When he arrived in the UFC back in 2004, he was already turning heads. At just 23 years old and with a flawless 5-0 record, people could see that he was something special. Without a doubt, this guy was a scary striker. But what made him truly remarkable was how easily he adapted to grappling. It was like he was born for it. And from there, he began his reign over the welterweight division. Sure, GSP had a couple of losses in the UFC, but let me tell you, he bounced back stronger than ever after each one. And after UFC 79, he flipped the game. There was no stopping him. He showed his striking, his wrestling, and his ability to effortlessly take opponents down. Basically, this man was the complete package, and he quickly climbed the ranks to become one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters on the planet. The best part? He accomplished all of this before he even turned 30. But then, after his victory at UFC 167, George dropped a bombshell. He announced that he'd be stepping away from MMA for a little while, leaving fans and critics confused about his decision. Well, that little while turned into four years. Just imagine what he could have done in those four years. He could have solidified himself as the greatest of all time. But when he finally made his highly anticipated return, he had one goal in mind to become a double champion. And boy, did he achieve it. He defeated Michael Bisping at UFC 217 and claimed the middleweight belt. But after that, he decided to retire again, and we haven't heard from him since. Now, just like GSP, the next fighter also came so close to greatness only to have it slip through his fingers. I'm talking about Alexander Gustafsson. Truth be told, his career is filled with moments that'll make you shake your head in disbelief. 
Let's start with that unforgettable showdown against the longtime UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones at UFC 163 in 2013. Gustafsson gave Jones the fight of his life, pushing him to the absolute limit. But in the end, when the judge's decision was announced, Alexander found himself on the wrong side of the split decision. Just imagine his heartbreak, and it didn't end there. Two years later, in a title eliminator fight against the fearsome Anthony Johnson, Gustafsson once again faced disappointment. But hope wasn't lost for him. In 2016, he made a remarkable comeback. He had back-to-back -back victories against Jan Blakowicz and the hard-hitting Glover Teixeira, earning himself another shot at the championship. This time, it was a rematch against John Jones. Unfortunately, Gustafsson suffered a TKO loss at the hands of Jones, once again leaving him close to ultimate glory. The setbacks continued, and he faced tough defeats against Anthony Smith and Fabricio Werdum. It was at this point that Gustafsson had to make a difficult decision. He realized that his lifelong dream of becoming a UFC champion seemed out of reach, so he hung up his gloves, bidding farewell to the sport that had defined him for so long. You can tell that his journey has been a classic tragedy. However, those who saw his iconic battles will always remember his legacy. Sometimes even the brightest stars in the MMA world choose a different career, and that's exactly what happened with Jimmy Flick. In 2021, he announced his sudden retirement. And here's the kicker. He hadn't even begun to show us the full extent of his abilities inside the octagon. Of course, fans were shocked to say the least when they watched their favorite young fighter walk away from the MMA scene. But as Jimmy opened up in a heartfelt conversation with Mike Heck of MMA Fighting Radio, the reason behind his decision started to become clear. It all came down to one thing. Family. Yep, Flick chose to prioritize spending more time with his loved ones. Before his sudden retirement, he had been making waves in the MMA world. He had three impressive submission wins, and when he made his debut in the UFC, he did it in style. He pulled off a spectacular flying triangle choke to put Cody Durden away, making a memorable first impression. So while it's disappointing to see a promising talent like Jimmy leave the octagon so early, I can't help but admire his decision to prioritize what truly matters to him. Now, besides Jimmy Flick, Khabib Nurmagomedov was another unstoppable force in the UFC. With his incredible record of 29 wins and zero losses, he truly left a mark on the sport. But here's the catch. He decided to retire for good, leaving everyone in shock. After all, throughout his eight-year stint in the UFC, no fighter could even come close to challenging him. In fact, he had victories over notable names like Conor McGregor and Rafael Dos Anjos, as well as top lightweight contenders Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Many fans eagerly anticipated a showdown between Khabib and Tony Ferguson, and this dream matchup had everyone buzzing with excitement. Unfortunately, fate had other plans. The Khabib-Ferguson fight was scheduled not once but twice, only to be canceled both times due to injuries suffered by both fighters. And now, with Khabib retired and Ferguson facing some struggles, we're left with a massive what-if hanging in the air. The clash between Khabib and Ferguson will forever be known as one of the biggest opportunities in UFC history. Still, you can't help but appreciate the dominance and skills that Khabib always brought to the octagon, and the impact he had on the sport will continue to echo through the MMA world. So, there you have it, from Khabib Nurmagomedov hanging his gloves despite 29 consecutive wins, to Anthony Johnson stepping away after a couple of defeats, these were fighters who retired too soon.